My name is George Teixeira. I'm the CEO of DataCore Software. I've had the pleasure of running the company now for literally 13 years in February. So we started the company with the passion of building software to virtualize and manage storage. And we continue on that charter. And San Symphony V really represents the culmination, not only of our passion and our vision, but frankly, out of 6,000 customers around the world and you know tens of thousands of deployments and the lessons that we've learned from that and how we folded that in to make the job of storage administrators and making storage a better proposition. What, what I think I'd like to do and when I talk about San Symphony V is not talk to it from a technical standpoint, but from the business value. Uh, it's interesting because when you look at what storage virtualization does, it's really a way to mitigate risk and to contain costs and improve productivity. Very simple ideas. And what it does is it, it is transformed into a software layer that works across many different devices and brands and, and all of that. But you know, even the name, San Symphony V, let me spend a second on that. If you think about the analogy, you've got different musical instruments. So think about today's storage world. You've got different vendors selling different brands. You've got different storage devices of different types. You need intelligent software that can work across that and in effect turn it into a symphony. That's what DataCore San Symphony does and it does it with software. And software is, is key. Software is soft. <laughs> it's agile, it's portable, and therefore it can work on different platforms. In fact, DataCore San Symphony V can even run on a VM. It can migrate across to different platforms. It can co-reside with hypervisors. So again, I sound like I'm getting into the technical, but what I'm showing is its ability to span across many devices. Secondly, the time dimension. It works over a long period of time. And while the devices can change, can be upgraded, can come and go, the software, which is really an infrastructure, lives beyond these devices. So if I look at this from a business value, what have we really done? We've addressed a number of issues. One, if I've got all this different storage devices out there, the big problem is all this capacity, it's constantly growing and it's becoming more and more difficult to manage. How can I better utilize it? How can I deploy it easier? How can I harness all that storage capacity I currently have? San Symphony will double to triple the utilization of what you've already got. Another key point is productivity. Again, different devices all around, people having to learn on each device what the vendor of that particular de uh, device wants you to learn. Instead, with San Symphony, it's got the dimension of working infrastructure wide. So here is software that lets you manage all these different devices or different kinds and basically provide productivity across the board. In terms of performance, the applications that are running, it's all about how fast they're running. Slowdowns is less productivity, it's downtime, it's those kind of issues. What San Symphony does is, one, it accelerates the performance, so in effect you get twice the effort in the same given amount of time. That's money. <laughs> Uh, in addition to that, you lower the downtime. The San Symphony V is really constructed to be fault tolerant nonstop. If you're trying to do shared storage, especially for virtual servers and for virtual desktops, what you've done is you've taken all these applications, you've put all the eggs in one basket, you've in effect concentrated all that workload on these, these platforms. You must therefore have shared storage that is nonstop and won't fail. So what San Symphony V does is it's software that again mitigates the risk of not only failures but disruptions. That means more uptime, that means your business is making money longer. 
Another big advantage of having the software layer or a software-based infrastructure is that the hardware below becomes much more irrelevant. And how does that turn into money? Very simple, it's purchasing power. It's the, the power of choice. When you need to upgrade your systems, when you need or you see a new uh, generation of hardware coming out that's better, go out, get the brand that you like and insert it into your environment. It's infrastructure. What we're talking about here, by the way, is not radically different. And in fact, we already have seen it. When you buy your VMware or your Microsoft Hyper-V, today, that is infrastructure software. The fact that you're buying an HP, a Dell, an Intel, or an IBM server has become almost irrelevant. That is what DataCore does for storage. And that portability allows that software to live where it needs to live and to be used and endure over periods of time such that you're getting the payback, the better return on investment, the better utilization, the better productivity, and the better performance across all your storage assets. So bottom line, Sans Symphony V, while I'm excited about all the technology, it's about the money <laughs> that you're saving and about the productivity that you're enhancing.